If you had the chance to go back in time and speak to any icon in history face to face, who would you speak to? <laughs> Imagine sitting down with Winston Churchill so you could ask him all of your questions about his strategies during World War II. Or Michael Jackson so you could ask him all about how he came up with Billie Jean. That's uh... That's me. I can't get away from that. It seems like that is slowly becoming a possibility with ChatGPT and MetaHumans. We've already showed you how realistic MetaHumans can be, and you already know how powerful ChatGPT is. So think MetaHumans cloned to look exactly alike historical figures, and at the same time meticulously trained on those exact same personalities using GPT with all of the historical knowledge available on the internet, in books, everywhere so that you can speak with them and ask all your burning questions. What we are talking about is an early beta version of an app developed by Real-Time Graphics, an app that is using the power of Unreal Engine 5. Real-Time Graphics is well known for its meta-human customization content and we've known him for that for a very long time now. But at the same time, over the past few months, we've seen him work very hard on the concept of mixing AI with meta-humans. Actually, hold on. Oh, fuck. Uh, why don't we go and try it right now? Wait, really? Yeah. Now? Yes. Okay, so real-time graphics actually gave us early access, and since we love you guys, why don't we? Yeah, let's go no, and show you guys. Now. Let's go. Let's go. We are here now in. <laughs> you suck. Take five. All right, we're now in Access Point AI. We have two options: learn from the past, learn for the future. Oh my God! Look at all these characters: Abraham Lincoln, Napoleon. How to pronounce this Nefertiti, name? Nefertiti, Queen Nefertiti and Leif Erikson. There are more, right? So there's more characters, but these are the only four characters available right now that we can actually go ahead and play around with. The other characters, which there's a huge list that we're gonna show you right now, are all preview images, but are going to become available over time. And as you can imagine, creating and customizing a MetaHuman on its own is a lengthy process. We are creating our own tutorial series, also inspired by real-time graphics. We have Leonardo da Vinci, we have Galileo, Karl Marx, Marx, Genghis Khan. Oh, I wanna to talk to Genghis Khan. Actually. Alexander the Great. We're gonna start with Queen Nefertiti. Currently, we're working on this Egyptian scene, which is a replica of King Tut's tomb. And we were thinking how cool it would be for people to get in that scene and see the actual replica and have a tour guide that essentially is super intelligent and can answer all your fucking questions. Look at the quality of that meta human. This customization is on point. Look at the makeup, yes. the eyeliner, like freaking dope. Everything about Queen Nefertiti's modeling is insane. All communication is by voice, so real-time graphics and their team has made it available to have speech to text and text to speech. All we have to do is hold spacebar and speak our questions. May I ask the first question? Let's ask. All right, let's go. Hey, Queen Nefertiti, can you let me know who was the youngest king of Egypt? And now it's processing. We have to wait for the magic. So what is happening in the background? This speech has been converted to text. And you can see it. And the text has been sent to GPT to get the response back. And then the response from text would be transformed to Queen voice. Oh. King Tutankhamen was the youngest. Yes. The ascending to Dude. You know what? That answer is correct. Dude. Now, the next cool thing about this is if you notice the lip sync of Queen Nefertiti actually tried to match what she was trying to say from ChatGPT. So yes, it's not perfect yet. It's not exactly human-like, but you can imagine all of these technologies are very, very early. This is still beta. And as we talked real-time graphics, we are like one of the very first testers of this whole thing. You can only imagine where this is going to go and how much work can be put into this to make this perfect. Farad, next question. What objects you could find in his tomb I said his. Yeah. Let me see if he can understand if it's King Tut. I'm not sure if it has the chat history or oh, not. For sure. Maybe it does. Objects found in the tomb of yeah. King Tut in common include Dude. iconic yes. jewels, Dude. furniture. Yes, and, and it's correct. Artifacts. That's correct. It's That's perfect. Correct. It, it kept the chat history and it answered yeah. correctly. So you can keep the conversation going. You don't have to repeat every single time. I have one last question I want to ask Queen Nefertiti. Did you ever date anybody or were you married? I don't know the answer to that question. Queen, of course there was a king. Oh yeah. <laughs> My husband was yeah. Pharaoh Akhenaten. Akhenaten. And we were because considered to have had, had a long and equal yeah. relationship. Wow. She says she had a loving relationship for you to stop asking those questions. <laughs> let's try another character. Okay, let's, let's try go. Napoleon. That was so that cool, was so good. That was so good. Go. Napoleon? Okay, yes. let's go. 
First of all, look at how fast this loads. Choose a new topic. Just like immediately. Oh, it does. Dude, look at that cloth. Look at the cloth. Is it true that you wore high heels to look taller? I did hear about that. Did you hear about that? Was it Napoleon? Or that was Napoleon, yes. There is a common misconception <laughs> that heels to look tall. However, this is not true. The shoes I wore during- Oh, that was a perfect answer. Fuck. There you go. This is fucking great. There you go. This is a perfect use case. So imagine, I, I think the use case that I see for this is if you're going to a museum and it's about Napoleon, instead of having that audio guy that keeps repeating the same thing over and over again, or that paper brochures, we can have a meta human that you can talk to and can ask all the questions because my question would be different from your questions. Yeah. If you can talk to Napoleon himself in a French museum, I think that's the coolest shit ever. Next question. Three, two, one. How did you die? It's kind of sad, man. Let's see. Okay, let's see how fast that is. It's been like five seconds now, six, seven. I died of stomach cancer on the oh. island of St. Helena in 1821. I'm sorry to hear that, but it's okay. Let's change the character now. Oh, look <laughs> at the wrinkles. Abraham, who were your most trusted leaders and soldiers? Again, I have no fucking clue about the answer. We'll find out. In leadership, I trusted William Seward Ooh. and Edwin Stanton. As for soldiers, I admired the bravery and skill of Ulysses S. Grant and William Tecumseh Sherman. Wow. Dude, this Fuck. makes learning so much more fun. Who would you talk to if you had the chance? Uh, I know mine. Who? Nikola Tesla. <gasps> yeah, so many oh. questions. Yeah, so many questions. So but I don't know how they train on Nikola Tesla because all the things are apparently destroyed or hidden. But how do you history. know GPT wasn't trained on the hidden files? Yeah, so could be not. But um, how many children he had? Did he have children? Let's find Let's out. Let's find out. Hey Abraham, did you have any children? And if you did, who did you love the most? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. This speech text is flawless. Yeah, especially with our accents. I would say. You know what? This this is like the Siri we never had. <laughs> oh yeah. Literally. I oh. Had four children. Wow. Robert, Robert, Edward, William, and Thomas. I loved them all equally, oh. but unfortunately, oh. three of them died young. How did the three of them die? I he died at the age of three, likely of tuberculosis. William died at the age of 11 from typhoid fever, and Thomas died at the age of 18 from a bacterial infection while studying. Dude, such a sign. All right, we're gonna give one last try to the final character, and that is Leif Erikson. Oh, wow, this is so... I want to say accurate, but I don't know him, but looks accurate to yeah, me. Looks, dude, his metahumans are on fire. Actually, Real time graphics. Who are you? I am a Norse explorer who discovered Vin, oh. the first known European settlement in North America. Oh, wow. Wow, that's amazing. Didn't even know about him. So now that we showed you all the characters, you know how cool this technology is and what the possibilities are. Let us know in the comments what you guys think about it. And also a big shout out to Real Time Graphics for giving us this early access. <laughs> He's like a fucking potato beside me. Don't know what to say. Was I supposed to say something? No, I said everything. <laughs> Sorry, no, that was good. That was good. Let's do the outro now. <laughs> we need to do an outro for a video. If you wanted to say bye to a lot of people watching you, how would you say bye? <laughs> May your travels be safe and your thoughts be guided by the winds of your. Yes, farewell, dear friends.